It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each week we bring you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. It is so easy to look at what everyone else around you and in your industry is doing and feel like what you're doing is not enough. Comparison is the thief of joy, my friends, and by watching everyone else's successes, we oftentimes diminish and put down the successful things that we've not already done, but are currently doing. This week's power back is that their success does not take away from yours. I really want to say that again. Their success does not take away from yours. Comparing yourself with other people is going to kill your dream quicker than just about anything, especially when something is doing something within the industry that you are in, or if a person just kind of naturally rubs you the wrong way. If you find yourself getting jealous, rude, upset, a little bit like, "Mm -hmm, who does she think she is? It's a good time to take your power back by reframing your mind. But here's the key. Their successes, the things that they're doing and they're achieving, it's really not stopping you from doing anything, is it? So what if they won an award? So what if they got a new client? So what if they got a new office? Those are wonderful things for them, right? Because if they're doing things and achieving them, that means that they are on their right path. What they're doing is not stopping you from achieving all the things that you have already set out to do. You both can run successful, amazing businesses, whether it's in the same town, the same city, the same state, the same country. Hell, we're all in the same world together, right? Regardless of where we're sitting right now, we can all achieve really great things parallel to one another, If you keep doing what you do best, any quick flames are going to die out pretty quickly, and the ones that are intended to succeed will succeed, and that includes you. So here's this week's power back exercise. I want you to make a list of the people that make you kind of want to beat your head up against a wall when you see them achieve something. I also want to let you know that by feeling like this, you are not a bad person. It's human nature to feel like this from time to time. But by taking your power back and acknowledging it, I want you to look at these people each time and know that them doing their great thing is not going to stop you from doing yours. After you have made that list of people and you don't have to share it with anybody, I want you to write next to them, why does it make you upset that they are succeeding? This may require a little bit of inner work. This is where I need you to get vulnerable with yourself. What is it about their success that is making you feel like yours is no longer valid? Now I want you to make a list of how their successes and actions actually affect you. So the first list was things that you have told yourself. This list is focused on the actuality. So how are the things that they are doing actually affecting you from doing the thing that you do best? You'll probably find that that list is much smaller than the previous. Last but not least, now I want you to consider how you can shift your mindset. There is power in knowledge. And now that you have taken the time to acknowledge how you're feeling, who you're feeling about, and why... You're way better equipped for the next time someone succeeds, wins, achieves something. You can now look at them and celebrate them. You can high five them in person or from afar, knowing that they are not taking away anything that you are creating. They are simply following the path that they were intended to be on. Tune in next Tuesday as we get into the nitty-gritty of your business, as we define who you are, 
what you do, and how it makes a difference. All of these things are an imperative foundation to who you are as a brand.